At just 21, Katarzyna Neviadoma is ready to be cycling's next star. Introduced to the sport by her father, her natural ability was evident from the moment she sat on a bike. One day he just said to me that there's a competition for father and daughter. So he took me there. I didn't, really didn't want to go there, but he already gave me a bike and everything was prepared, so I just went. And there I won that race, so already they said, OK, it's uh, interesting that first time and victory. It was uh, not part of uh, my life, let's say. You know, I was pretty young and more interested in going out with friends than uh, going for training. But yeah, with time, uh, I got more and more involved. With her potential fully understood, all eyes were set on finding a way to a professional team. Given her age and Poland's relative infancy as a cycling nation, achieving this was easier said than done. I had to finish my school. I was also more focused on studying and wanted to, to do it really well. But uh, then already I was thinking, OK, Poland is not a place where I can uh, develop. So I, all the time trying to find somewhere a chance to show up myself, to show that uh, I'm a potential rider. That focus soon paid off. Spotted by Rabo Liv, she was invited to ride at the Holland Ladies Tour at the end of 2013. Yeah, Viadoma was still just a raw talent, but the potential was clear. When we first uh, saw her, she was still, uh, yeah, of course, very uh, even younger than she is now and uh, new to everything. Uh, and for her, it was, uh, yeah, an eye opener to 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 join us. And uh, suddenly, she was there in the race with us. And. Uh, but you could uh, tell, uh, although she was very nervous, she was uh, really motivated and uh, she wasn't going to step aside and be patient. She was going for it. And that's, uh, that's something what you like to see. Uh, the, yeah, not only talented riders, but also riders who are really eager and have the, yeah, the guts to go for it. You never can tell uh, how riders will develop in the end. Uh, but so far, every, step, every year she has uh, done a step better. And uh, yeah, this year, uh, you, yeah, she can look back already on a really good Strade Bianca, where she ended up second. Despite now being established at the top of her sport, Nievia Doma has never left the place she calls home. Right on the mountainous border of both Poland and Slovakia, it remains the perfect training base. It's a, a really beautiful place in the mountain where it's really easy and calm. When you want to be a cycling, it's a perfect place. When you want to find a good work and be a businessman, it's a bad, a bad place. <laughs> so for me, actually, I'm happy to be there. Uh, I can do really good trainings, have a really nice time with family. I feel really happy there, so that's a, the most important for me. The Poles' natural ease on tough climbs is as equally recognisable as the blue jersey she wears as the European under-23 champion. Nievia Doma's eyes are now set on one of cycling's biggest prizes, though, the Giro Rosa. It's a race that's been important in her development, having first ridden there in 2014. So when she lines up in Italy in July, she can keep in mind past experiences. At the beginning, I made a lot of mistakes which now I can improve because now I look back and see what I did uh, stupid on the rock. Uh, I really remember first stage. It was so hot and I forgot, yeah, it was nervous, hectic and I didn't drink. So the last 30 k's were cramp and cramp in my legs and I could not pedal anymore. And then I said, yeah, so stupid mistake I made. <laughs> I think every year it will come a bit easier because you train more and you practice and do more races. So I think I need just a time and a good uh, environment around me like I, I have it now with Rabobank that they really take care of everything. The best field where I feel is uh, of course the climbs. I like the most, uh, the really steep ones. There I feel I can make a difference. And yeah, I also want to be, um, improve in many ways, but I think it's with every rider actually, like do better time trials or sprints from smaller group. 
After a more successful second attempt last year and a strong start to the 2016 season, Nevia Doma's name is sure to be high on the list of favourites. When I did last year fifth place in Giro, for sure I would like to be in top three now. And uh, I'm really looking for it, to fight for it. I'm maybe I'm also more confident now that I believe I can do it.